Ready to start recording? Yeah, I'm recording. I am recording as well. There we go. <laughs> I'm. I, I think it heard it. I'm sure it did. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> um. Hmm. Music. Waltz of the Flowers. Waltz of the Flowers. By Tchaikovsky. (laughs) (laughs) On the YouTube Audio Library. It's by Tchaikovsky. Chai coffee. Chai coffee. <laughs> Chai iced tea. Those Russians. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how well I can hear it, but we're getting to a loud part. I don't know when it will start it, actually, but... <laughs> Welcome to Earful of Corn. Yeah. We should say it at the same time. Oh. What? Three, oh. two, one. Welcome, Welcome to, to Earful of corn. corn. Now let's say it like grumpy five year olds. Three, two, one. Welcome, Welcome to Earful of Corn. <laughs> <laughs> Why is your voice so loud? Uh, now let's say it like. Um, our dads just came home from the military. Um, and, we're, and we're surprised. We're very surprised to see him. Three. <laughs> what? I can't. Jeez. Oh, drop on the mic. Drop on the mic. Really? <clears throat> so we're using two separate um, microphones on two separate computers, and then I'm gonna edit it together. Yeah. So let me first. know how you you think this sounds. I'm sure it sounds great. Um, I'm using the new like my new audio interface that I talked about in one of the last podcasts mm-hmm. and sean is using the classic the, the blue snowball the yeah, original. Our, <laughs> our steady ready microphone mm-hmm. that we've been using and then i'm just gonna mix those two audios together and see how it sounds jesse how many five-year-olds do you think i could fight um if it was like a hallway i think endless <laughs> because it'd be like the It'd be like 300 Spartans. Well, I'd have to get tired at some point. Like You'd have to get what? Tired at some point. Well, that's true. But they would have to take a nap. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, 80? Something like that. Well, let's see. 300 Spartans versus 10,000 Persians, was it? I don't know. So, you'd like, it, it'd be like, I don't know, over 3,000. Okay. How many two-year-olds no, do no, you that's wrong. fight? Over three hundred. If if a dozen two year olds were charging at me to kill, how many do you think I could fight off? <laughs> <laughs> I think what you could basically do is uh render enough of them onto the ground that they would the rest of them wouldn't be able to get to you. <laughs> Their climbing skills at that point is is subpar. Two years old. I How many do you it. think I could fight before I can't fight no more and they would win? I think you would win. <laughs> a I thousand think it would be the two year old two year old fighter champion. A thousand two thousand eighteen. <laughs> well, maybe someday. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Yep. This is what this whole podcast is yeah, gonna be about. It's gonna be fighting babies. It's gonna be <laughs> scenarios and stuff. I like being able to monitor my voice. This is great. Oh by the way, I'm wearing headphones. Sean is not. Mm mm. Yes. <laughs> what? <laughs> yes. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if Nutmeg likes the podcast. Yeah, I don't she think she seems Nutmeg to whine likes. a lot. That's that's really Sean's started. dog. Technically, it's not Sean's dog. It's but my dog. Cares it's basically my dog. Basically, Sean's dog. My dog for good. She's like 
glaring at us. <laughs> She's like, how could you talk to me or talk about me like that? If you could only see her face right now. Jesse, here's a scenario. You, no, you, scenario. you are in the MMA. I'm sorry? You are in the MMA. No, no. The ma. <laughs> the ma. The ma. This is a scenario. Uh, you are in the MMA. You have to fight a 12-year-old. This 12-year-old's been trained, but so have you. You've been trained in deadly... Uh, uh, you've been, you're a Navy SEAL, but also an MMA fighter. This is you, Jesse. Just a scenario. Just a scenario. And so you fight this person. You fight them. And this 12-year-old. This 12-year-old. And you win. Mm-hmm. You destroy them. They are ashamed for the rest of their life. <laughs> just a scenario. Just a scenario. And <laughs> you're you're proud of yourself, but a little ashamed that you destroyed and embarrassed this 12-year-old. This is a scenario. This is a scenario. And, and so time goes by. Months. Days. Minutes. Go by. <laughs> Technically true. <laughs> what time do you go to bed every night? Very if this, this if this all happened, what time do you think you would go to bed at night? That's the question. I don't sleep. <laughs> <laughs> what time do you think you go to bed if all that happens? I don't sleep because I'm too busy killing twelve year olds. Oh, not, no one said about killing. That's the next. You said scenario. destroy. That's the next scenario. Look up destroy. If that all happened, the scenario, Sean. and different scenario, and you killed the twelve-year-old, what time do you think you would go to bed at night on average? Nine, ten. No, I don't think so. I'm just curious. I'm telling you, no, I don't sleep. Okay. Just curious. I'm in the ring. <laughs> at least in my mind. Uh huh. What do you mean by in the ring? <laughs> oh, like where you fight. I mean, I guess the cage. Or oh, yeah. It would be the cage. Uh, I guess. Is like boxing. Yeah. The octagon. As long as I'm hitting a 12-year-old. Mm-hmm. This is a scenario. <laughs> Find out when you would go to bed at night. <laughs> if that all happened. <laughs> now you know. <clears throat> you heard it here first. Mm-hmm. My tummy's making noises. <laughs> put, put up the microphone to your tummy. <laughs> now it's shy. <laughs> hey, Meg, what do you want? You can go potty? You want nummies? Yeah, yeah, nummies. Can you entertain the people? Jesse. Who needs a stethoscope? I just turn up the gain on my mic and put it to my heart. <laughs> it's yeah. awesome. Quality <laughs> content. What? Sorry, I turned up the gain. Man, that was loud. <clears throat> Jesse, I'm checking out the first podcast. You're doing what? I'm looking at the, oh, first, too the, loud. the first podcast. Why are you doing that? We have 15 views on the first podcast. We have 15 views on the first podcast (laughs) of your full From the the looks of this, I listened to less than half of it. (laughs) So I count as one view. (laughs) Yeah, we each count as one view, sadly. (gasps) I don't know if that's sad. Whatever, I enjoy it. But I cry, so. Yeah. Jesse, we don't have a topic. We're just talking. By the time you hear this, it will have millions of views. Yeah. Because <laughs> you have to go viral yet. <clears throat> Jesse, I had an interaction yeah, we don't have a topic, the other day. Do we? Jesse, I had an interaction the other day. An interaction, a what? Interaction oh. with an old man the other day at Safeway. <laughs> okay. Are you intrigued? <laughs> yes, actually. Are you elated? <laughs> Am I related? Elated. Oh, uh, I thought you meant it was like my dad. 
<laughs> and like, and I was like, oh, maybe man. you haven't told me yet. <laughs> That's no, like I just thought it was interesting and something I could talk about because, like, this guy he comes in almost every day to buy two loaves of bread. Dang, he's a heavy bread eater. Yeah. Oh, oh maybe he feeds the ducks. Comes in, buys bread. In comes in, buys bread, a couple times a, a wheat. <laughs> yeah, I'm not giving you anything on that. Just kidding. Um, but so, like one time, I like asked him, like, so, because I was I was running the check stand, and I was checking him out, and he said, I was like, so what do you buy the bread for? And like he was just like, so, you want to know why I buy the bread? <laughs> <laughs> like, like completely changes the way he talks. Like to, te- to like, like completely like movie character. Like he was acting or something. Like the old man in the movie. So you will want to know why I buy the You're bread into the plot <laughs> yeah. of your movie? And I'm just like, like yep. <laughs> He's like, well, uh, see, I go home every day and I. There's a group of crows that come and greet me every time oh, I drive. Birds. They know my car sound. And so I feed the crows during the winter time. <laughs> he feeds the crows. And then he's like, but now the seagulls know where I live. Oh. So they come too. <laughs> but I thought that was a funny interaction. Cause <laughs> that is funny. Made me laugh. Uh, someday I want to be an old man and talk like That's that. That's a funny comment. <laughs> Jesse, so funny. Jesse with the Jesse honest with commentary. <laughs> yeah, it's like I'm I'm commenting on a, a podcast. Yeah, that is Sean. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. Huh. Well. <clears throat> that was great. I liked that. You were going to ask me something? I was going to ask you something, yes. What was it? Thank you for reminding me. You are the brains of this organization. <laughs> so, have you seen the movie called The Greatest Showman? With Hugh Jackman? Yes. With Zac Efron? Yes. And Zendaya? Maybe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who is she? Yes, I have. Probably. Yeah, I have. It was really good. Yeah, I loved it. You watched it? Yeah. <laughs> Want to give a mini review? Oh, I just did. I said I loved it. <laughs> no, I really liked it. I thought the... Uh, I'll start Sean, off, tell me what I'll, you think about I'll it. I'll start off with the bad. I thought the plot was kind of weak. I hate you, Sean. <laughs> no, the plot was, <laughs> was really weak. Oh, you're really very weak. generic. Very it was generic. fine. <laughs> like, that was like... Mm. <laughs> like like some story beats were weird like it seemed like he was going in like a kind of bad direction when all of a sudden at this i'm not gonna give much spoilers it's no spoilers. not really a movie you could spoil really you get everything from the trailer um but like he like hides them away from the party he's like oh you got you guys need to start a show soon oh we could stay high they're saying and he's just like no 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 and they have this like emotional moment they start off the song mm. and like the pacing is kind of weird because like he like instantly closes the door the camera like goes to all of them and then instantly like she starts singing there's not like a moment of like sadness really just like like the pacing is kind of weird editing wise mm. but and then they weird. start singing and then they go in the room anyway and then they like they're mm. showing their they're prideful they, yeah mm-hmm. they're doing what they want which is good but like did he like instantly leave the room after that because he wasn't in there and they went barge through that room and i imagine there would have been like a interaction if he was in there which is why they probably didn't have a scene him like seeing them barge in the room because he would have been like oh no or they should have had an interaction which would have been because the audience loved them yeah he would have been like oh it's fine you know yeah but like like they no didn't sweat. show him in the room after. Yeah, like, that's interesting. Maybe <laughs> I was just like, like, maybe he was sick that day. Did he just instantly <laughs> leave? And then, and then like, uh, his wife thinks he cheated, but he didn't. Mm-hmm. And then like at the end, 
Like she like leaves him for a little bit and then at the end he comes back and it's like, I'm sorry. And then she instantly forgives him. Like it was like You should have just talked to me. And then it's over. <laughs> like I was like There's no Classic emotional woman. no emotional payoff there. It's just like <laughs> You don't well, want to talk. You don't want to talk about the cheating scandal that you believe he, after you, Sean. Like you don't. That? The wife's just like she didn't want to talk about it at all. It's just like nah, forgiven. Not with the cameras. <laughs> yeah, there. In the newspaper, he was drawn kissing someone. <laughs> it wasn't a picture, even though they were taking pictures. It was like a drawing in the newspaper. Was it? it looked like a drawing in the newspaper. I didn't of, see that. Yeah, it's funny. Oh, but anyway, just like music figure. was great. Music was wonderful. Oh my gosh, I really enjoyed it. Really enjoyed it. Mm-hmm. Like I actually enjoyed like the whole movie. Yeah, I'm like, not as much as of a as like a technical critic as you, so I can't be taken as seriously probably. Mm-hmm. But I really liked it. Yeah, I still All loved it. Like the music, especially, was like the best part. Yeah, I think. Hands down. And then Hugh Jackman. Like, that dude, that dude can do it all. Yeah. Like, crazy. So like, great. he could sing, he could dance, he could act. He, he could do anything. He can apologize. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. And the people all forgived him at the end, even though he tried to shut them away. With no, like, hey, oh, I'm sorry, yeah. everybody. Right. <sighs> Which was interesting. But anyway. Well, I mean, she explained that, though. She was like, you heard us like everybody else did, jerk, basically. And then she was like, but you are also have been amazingly awesome to us. And look at what you've, like. <laughs> That's really big line. And so she was like, so snap out of it, you little dirtbag. Yeah. Some, like, critics back and, uh, yeah. judged it on the base of, like. And an audience was like, it's. Yeah. <laughs> it's accuracy to, like history oh which, yeah because it's based which, on yeah it's based on a true, true story story uh i don't think they sang, sang that much in real life but i don't think they sang those songs <laughs> no but like some critics <laughs> were like j- like <laughs> pretty harsh i don't think it affected the overall score of the movie on any website or anything mm-hmm. but maybe a little bit because some critics the accuracy were, of the story to true events yeah oh yeah <laughs> Which is silly, because uh, movies aren't meant to be history lessons. <laughs> yeah, and when it says based on true events or something like that, it's not like... I mean, you got to read. It says based on... Like, yeah. you know, mm-hmm. they're going to take some liberties. Mm-hmm. I agree. So anyway, yeah, go go rent that movie or hopefully yeah, go see, see it, it if it's still in theaters. <laughs> They're watching it ten years from now. What's that one? <laughs> Never heard of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Uh, uh, uh. I wanted to start a new segment, Jesse. Segment away. Okay, say it with me. This new Popcorn. segment is called Three, what? Two, oh. One. Hey, Silly old dudes. news. What? <laughs> Wait, what did I write down? Actually, um, did you say silly old dudes? New segment called Old News. Oh, old news. Yeah, say it with me. One, two, three. New segment, old, old news. news. There we go. That'll work. <laughs> It's a usable sound bite. <laughs> I'll just like have a soundboard, and every time we <laughs> we bring up the segment, <laughs> old news, old, old, old Should news. Be a button called "Past Mistakes." Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> with its own like sad music and just a sadder person saying old, <laughs> old mistakes. <laughs> so why is this segment called "Old News"? Um, because I wanted to bring up like an old like. Probably an old to. thought that's already happened. Or already been thought. Like, okay, here's the topic or stuff oh, that okay. I want to... It's like, less literal than I'm thinking. Yeah. Uh, I had to burp. 
Um, why in Hogwarts in the Harry Potter movies did they have the yeah, like the, the 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 like Slytherin house? Because they're all bad guys. <laughs> why did they even have that <laughs> like house? I thought it was kind of. I thought about them. And them like pretty, in a school. Yeah. Like it's raising bad people. <laughs> well, I mean, I guess that's the culture of a wizard's school that we're okay. just not accustomed to. Mm. You know? That's what I think. <laughs> okay. This has been old news. Yeah. <laughs> we need a place to put all the bullies. <laughs> put them all in there. Let them sure. team together. I'm sure they won't do anything. Bond over I'm sure hatred. history won't account, like <laughs> like won't show that this is historically bad. I mean, the most evil wizard ever when was in there. You know, Sean. Someday I hope you are able to ask <clears throat> the author that very question. Yeah. Why is there slither? <laughs> Doesn't make no sense. Bad people go there. <sighs> Do I have anything else in here? Nope. Uh oh, we ran out of gas. <laughs> We're only twenty-one minutes. Run, unless, unless we cut stuff, something out. Otherwise, welcome back to the podcast. <laughs> Uh, three, two, one. Welcome back to Earful of Corn. The first two podcasts that I edited, mm -hmm. um, I didn't really edit. I only like messed with the audio. I didn't cut anything <laughs> out. By the way, mm. I might ask you to cut something out of the second one. <laughs> it's already well. I mean, I haven't published it yet. But good. What did you want to cut out? <laughs> I'll tell you later. <laughs> oh, okay. But what, did you listen to the whole thing? The second one? Yeah. I, can't, I don't. Is think the so second actually. one good, Jesse? <laughs> oh, we, we were on it. Curtis I was on it. Don't think I even listened to it. <laughs> just, just did the levels. I think it's better than the sec, the first one. Hmm. Because. Hmm. Wonder if this one will go down as one of the best ones. Well, definitely. Well, can we title yeah. this one the best podcast ever? <laughs> yes. Then, like a little dash, little line. I forgot what that's called. A little line. I'm tired. And then Earful of Corn episode four. Yep. Yeah. EP four. Number four. We're putting out an EP. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> four of them. <laughs> Every time I laugh. Just like wind in the microphone. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I do have a, <laughs> have like you a windscreen seen, thing on this. Have you seen the Kylo Ren meme? Or the Kylo Ren The one challenge? where he's shirtless? The one where he's shirtless <laughs> and yes. he hikes his pants up above his belly button. Oh, no, not that one. I guess it's a lot of them. Uh, I'm going to look some up real quick. Look at for that, our audio listeners. What, what should they look up? Kylo know. meme? Yeah, Kylo. I'm sure there's meme. tons of them. Memes and Star Wars are both very it's popular. It's the second, bound second to be search, lots of Star second Wars search memes. result when I put in Kylo. Yeah. Oh uh, boy. <laughs> we already <laughs> reviewed this movie. In uh, the, the SpongeBob. He has such a shorts. wide torso and a tiny head <laughs> in this one frame of the movie, where he's like, where it's like before. Like, where he had a shirtless scene where he wasn't as, like, big. And then after, in that one, where he's bigger, like, a little more muscular, like, filled out. And then it shows, like, a cat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that one. <laughs> oh. Yes. Yeah. That was good. <laughs> what in the... Is that Ren? Yeah, that's Ren. Oh my gosh. Kylo Ren. Shirtless Ren. Look That's on hilarious. it. Hilarious. <laughs> Ren and Stimpy. Oh, yeah, Kylo good. Ren. <laughs> that is. That's. I think that's the best. That's the most clever I've seen. 
That's no moon. <laughs> If you have a chance, oh, look at these. some really good ones. Kylo Ren. <laughs> oh my That's gosh. So I have yet to discover oh, the man. world of Kylo Ren memes. <laughs> that one just made his body oh, even wider. Even more wide. Like in this one frame of the movie, he's just like... He's just a wide person. He's a very wide he's person. He's broad. And there's nothing wrong with that. Very broad torso. To hold up his nice very wide, wide pants. Oh, jeez. <laughs> uh, yep. <laughs> That's funny. Wonder if they got gyms in like the Star Wars universe. <laughs> like he goes to the gym on the on his spaceship. <laughs> it's like less gravity, so he's just like could bench four hundred. <laughs> Oh, maybe it's more, more really. I was thinking the other day about your brother who works out a lot, and he thought it was funny how there's a 200 pound club <laughs> who could bend people who could bench 200, and he thought it was funny how there's like a number that low. <laughs> He's like, I've heard of the 300 pound club. Well, not the. I think the, the why he thought it was funny is because. I, and I don't know He's for buff. sure, but I think this is probably how it happened. There was like, there's probably like a 300 club for benching that people like hold it. made up because it's somewhat significant. Yeah. And then people started like, oh, well, I'm a part of the 200 club. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and they're like, what's that? Which is actually pretty impressive for me because I can't do that. <laughs> I can't do that either. So I could do we're maybe- in the 100 club. I could do maybe like 160 right now. Yeah, I don't even know. I haven't worked out in an age, so. I've been working out lately. Oh, nice. We can talk about that. Oh, dang. I'm flexing. Dude, your pecs I can hold the mic with my pecs. almost broke my pop filter. <laughs> uh, yeah, we, we should have Tim on this uh, yeah, for an Tim episode to talk, talk about fitness. He's <laughs> We're calling him out. Go find him and yeah, harass listens, him on Twitter. He, he's <laughs> probably listening to this. Tim, we're if you're gonna listening use to our, this, I know you. <laughs> we're gonna use our fans to go harass them. Go find them on Twitter. Fans? Our oh, fans. Our, our followers. Yeah, our followers go harass I you them meant, on like, Twitter. Go harass them with a fan, like a go, <laughs> go fan. find them at at <laughs> Timmy around with Timmy electric turn fans. Me. <laughs> we're bothering you. Yeah, <laughs> follow him at. I mean, he's in Timmy Florida, turn so he probably wouldn't mind. Actually, he'd yeah. probably enjoy it. Probably. Oh, the electric here's something we can talk about. Next year in January, my family's planning on going to Disney World. One year from now. Yeah. 2019. We're dating this episode now. <laughs> Wait, in Florida? <laughs> yeah. We're dating? They're, they'll be able to see like the timestamp of when it was published. Yeah. You can't hide on the internet. <laughs> Ten years from now, they're going to be like, oh, it already happened. This isn't interesting. If then, I had a great this time. <laughs> I had a good time. Honest review, yeah. with Sean Bennett. Um, but no, that should be fun. Like I heard, like I think. Yeah, that's we looked a it guaranteed up. Good time. We looked it up, and Disney World is like forty-four square miles. How big is Port Angeles? What? Like eighteen? Are you kidding me? Square miles. <laughs> In is this Florida? Yeah. No, like Disney World is 44. Yeah, no. No, I, I wasn't asking if Florida, <laughs> Florida was 44 square miles. I know that is not true. Yeah. But this is in Florida, the Disney mm-hmm. World is, and Disneyland is California, right? Yeah. That is really big. Yeah. That. Kind so of I believe we're mind. like planning on a week or five days, and then the other yeah. two days. Sounds like go to Universal Studios. Oh man! And that's awesome. I do want to go on one of those big fan boats, the ones with the oh, big fans Everglades? on them. Yeah, the big propeller boats. Uh, Timothy. The big spinny blade boats. Timothy touched the tail of an alligator. That's what I want to do. Yeah. I want to eat one. He has a. I want to wrestle it. I want to make a purse. <laughs> yeah. I want to wrestle it, eat it, then make a purse out of it. This pop filter is disagreeing and then with the me. purse. 
and eat it. <laughs> yeah, or <laughs> eat the purse. <laughs> uh, so that's what I want to do. I want to make many videos out of it. Oh, you're saying you're going to vlog? Your yeah, trip? I'm going to vlog, yeah. Sweet. I've never I'm been to Florida. To that. Have you Hopefully been to Florida? I'll be there. You could come. I'm sure, it'd be fine. Yeah, this is America. It's a good like the idea. hotel, I believe we're staying at. There's, it's like a, I'm not sure what's sure it called. It's not a train. It's like a rail, light rail, feet, light rail I guess. But it goes like I believe from the airport, or probably not. But. <laughs> But it goes anyway. It goes right. It goes from the airport, but probably not. <laughs> I'm covering all my bases just in case I'm wrong. I want to be right. We're somewhere in between, maybe. But anyway, it stops in the hotel. Like it comes into the hotel. Oh, what? And then you step out on the carpet. It's At crazy. Disney World. Yeah. Hotel. Or a hotel like or near it or in it or something like that. Covering all my bases That's just in case I'm wrong. <laughs> No, but could be the North Pole. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever been to Florida? It's Polar Express. Have you been to Florida, Justin? I've never been to Florida. Um, I've been to Utah, Nevada, Texas, and Oregon, and I live in Washington State. <laughs> in the United States, I've been to Washington, the Oregon, Idaho, and I guess you could say New York because I stopped in the airport there. Right. Which probably doesn't count. Yeah, not really, but I mean... Yeah, Hawaii. You went to Hawaii. Oh, yeah, Hawaii. <laughs> Did you forget your oh, yeah. anniversary? It just doesn't seem like a state. You know? <laughs> yeah, it kind of seems like its own country. Yeah. It's not indigenous. Yeah. But it is a U.S. state. Yep. And it's awesome. Mm-hmm. And my friend lives there. Yeah. And his wife and baby and baby-to-be. Yeah. Babies. <laughs> Babies. This pop filter is not agreeing with me. It's not a. Gr- oh, does it keep moving? Yeah. Yeah, it kind of. This like part has to tighten, which means it needs to like go clockwise like that. Mm. And so if you have it like this, it wants to like go that way. Yeah. Of course, you as an audience can't see any of this. We're having audio issues. Yeah. We're total noobs. That's better, Sean says. Yeah. I won't hear the <laughs> p- 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 <laughs> as watch. I think. Are you on? Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, you're... I mean, it's not going to really... <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> yeah, I think this part's going to get chopped. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Minute... 15 of the podcast. <laughs> I just cut everything. Uh, I mean, there, there, there's been like two spots in the podcast where <clears throat> it's just been kind of a lull where there's not really any point in keeping the audio, uh-uh. including what I'm saying right now. Oh, okay. Welcome back. Yeah, welcome back to the podcast like, oh, where, oh, we, where we talk about all... Oh, you okay. didn't go anywhere. What? Yeah. <laughs> What happened? <laughs> All of a sudden. <sighs> oh. Anything else interesting happened to you lately? Um, Other than the old man and the bread and the crows? What else with the movie voice has happened? Nope. Nothing interesting. Yeah. Let me look around. Nope. I don't think really anything interesting has happened to me either lately. Uh-uh. <laughs> yeah, my wife happened to me. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, oh, we could talk about something. I watched a movie, a classic. Oh, so did I. What did you watch? Say it. One, two, three. Indiana uh, Jones. To, to kill a mockingjay. To kill a mockingbird. <laughs> Uh, alternate version say of right. the Hunger Games. <laughs> no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no. It's like, it's like to kill a, of, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to kill a mockingbird is what I watched. Nice. I think I, I watched, watched that after I read the book in high school. 
but it, I did not read the book, so I have a, a it's review. A classic. I have a review that is n- independent from the book. Yeah, I haven't I, tainted my. I don't really stuff. remember the movie that much. But it was probably, okay. I'm not going to compare the book to the movie, which I don't do anyway in movie reviews. But I can't this time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Want to hear my thoughts? Oh, I do. Okay. All right. This movie deserves to be a classic, and it's a story that deserves to be told in many forms, including a movie. Do I think it was a great story? Yes. Do I think it was a great movie? Does it deserve to be in, like, the top 100 movies? No. Like, okay, I think people, like, who... think it deserves to be in the top 100 200 movies of all time are kind of confusing like the message with the movie like it is a great message but does that is is it in itself as an art of making movies excellent yeah does not yeah does having a great story make a great movie (laughs) yeah it's a part of it it's an ingredient but it doesn't yeah. You can't just ignore everything else. Because you definitely can tell just watching it, it's from a book, because it seems like it's like jumping yeah. certain things. Sometimes. And it that didn't happens, really for sure. when like movies are nominated for Best Picture, I don't think this was, but when movies are nominated for Best Picture, they're like go down in history. Um and they're they're like kind of especially nowadays when something's nominated for Best Picture, they're, like, innovative in a way. Like, Birdman, uh, it's been done before, but made it look like the whole movie was shot in one continuous take. Like, the camera doesn't cut from person to person. It looks like the entire movie takes place, like, in two or three days or something like that, but the camera doesn't cut. It, it does, it's camera tricks, but it makes makes it look like it's one continuous shot. And... The story was great. The acting was great in that movie, and that's why it won Best Picture. Never saw it. Oh, it's really good. You should see it. Anyway, uh, To Kill a Mockingbird is like it has a great message, great story, and it's very like it's not like innovative at all. Like it's very simple, very well told story, very like well acted, um, and such. But like. Was it like innovative and crazy? No, even but for the time. Even for the time. Not. Um, but like, like I believe it's truly like a great story and deserves to be told and should be yeah. told. And so that's what I think of it. Like, I think I people should see it. If you're listening to this, read the book. I haven't read the book. Read the book. Maybe I'll listen to it. I think yeah, I actually I was, started okay. listening to it, they but then like have an audiobook, I'm sure it's a very yeah. popular book. So. I'm pretty sure you can just find it on YouTube or maybe or Audible. Speaking of Audible, they're not a sponsor. That's the end of that. <laughs> because they sponsor a lot of people, not us, because we're not big enough with our 15 views. <laughs> we don't have any views in total. We got on our. Not, YouTube channel? Our YouTube channel. Let's look that up. Less than your oh, wait, YouTube channel. I yours, yours is uh, getting a little bigger. Not really. A little bit. It is. Not really. I've noticed. Not really. Yeah, it is. Mm-hmm. You're a naysayer to your own channel. Not. Hold on. Silence, sir. <laughs> I don't want to hear your opinion. <laughs> I'm defending you from you. Uh, Hi, Duel. That what That's what it says. <laughs> Hi, Duel. Because it asks, like, our name or something. You I'm pretty sure. And I and we put, like, Duel as our first name and two yeah. as our last. I want it to be official. Oh, that's funny. And so whenever we log into Google, we got a thousand like, seventy views in total. Hey, Duel. We have one thousand seventy views on our whole channel. Whoa! 
January 10th, 2016. That's tomorrow. What? Our anniversary is tomorrow. Whoa, two years to tomorrow. Our anniversary is our, tomorrow. Our YouTube anniversary for Did you get me anything? <laughs> we gotta do something. 